We did it. We did it. Wow. Wow. What a time to be alive, huh? You know, that's the title of a Drake album. What a time to be alive, or we did it. Probably, I mean, honestly, <laughs> we've made so many albums, probably both, but what a time to be alive. My dude, brother, dude, we it are- It is the Genius Bar, back in our original <laughs> state. Welcome to welcome to the to the worst version of Genius Bar, I guess. We've done in person versions. We've done a full on production event version, and and now we're back doing this. Can I just say thank you, you to say everybody anything. that came? It was really nice to meet everybody. Everybody was really nice and cool. What a life changing experience! You, I don't think like okay, we haven't had a lot of room to talk about this. Like we've put out a couple tweets, um, but obviously yeah. like the main YouTube channel, the main videos, like we it's hard to talk about it and fit time in. And that's why we have Genius Bar. This is our time to talk to you. And holy fuck! Like for everyone that came, uh, first of all, just to the just to Genius Bar goes dark to the main event. Thank you for taking a chance on us. What an incredible experience. I think a lot of people were surprised by just how far we went. Like, I don't know what they were expecting. Maybe like us in a little bar with like 10 people. But no, this was like a full on fucking thing. I hope everyone was surprised when you walked in uh, and you saw the stage. (laughs) Seeing that, I'm like, that looks like a real event. I know, oh, like I, I wish I, I wish I could have seen people walk in and be like, oh, oh shit, <laughs> like, Dude, okay. Dude, look at the crowd. You know, I don't want to pat it's ourselves so on the back, but like, it was a little bit of a crowd there. It's pretty damn good. It was so it exciting was cool. to see that, like, fi- like walking on stage and seeing them for the first time. Yeah. Like the months of planning, and the months of stress. Like you know, once when we walked on stage and saw them out there. And a couple people shouted, I love you, Sam, and fa-pa-ta. Like, you can hear that in yeah. the beginning when we sit down. Just an absolutely incredible experience. Yeah, um, but oh. I don't want to speak for both of us, Sam. Okay. But as impactful as that was, I don't think it even touches the meet and greet. I mean, yeah, that was really, really cool, too. Well, like, the event is us talking to them, right? That's, like, that's the mm-hmm. whole thing. But the meet and greet was, I for an hour and a half people lined up to see you and me and uh, we were separated. So there was separate lines, but it wasn't actually an hour and a half. Was it? It was. Yeah. I have uh, I, I should give you footage. We have on our end. I have footage and the, the clip is an hour and a half. Well, I saw you tweeted out the sped up version. I saw, yes, I should play that. Right. That's my job. Uh, the, you don't have to. That's just, that's operator. just, uh, that's just the front page tech line. The actual video has, uh, I, I don't know if we, if it's, you can see you, but, uh, it has more of the room uh, that's, it's just zoomed in. I don't know. It's up. It's up more. You passed it. You I'm passed tr- it. I passed it. I'm sorry. E- oh right yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Look at it. It is was, this, wait, is it, are we going to get copyright striked? Just keep the volume off. We don't need volume. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, um, what a crazy fucking dude! And look at the genius bomber, dude. The people that sh- like I remember, uh, I peaked a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. When we before we got on stage, I went up in the balcony and I, nope, I sort of peaked. Bad in. idea. I, I sort- did not. I just want everybody to know I did not look out until the second I went on stage. I, I peaked a little bit, and I was just like. The people wearing the Genius Bombers was so cute. There was a couple wearing them. Just the best. You guys are the best. Uh, And hearing your stories during the meet and greet uh, truly impacted me and changed my life. Oh, look, he's got the merch on, which, by the way, guys, get your merch, Genius.Supply. We've got tons of shirts for you guys. Uh, If you want to, you know, go to the event, you want to support the event still, uh, we do still have bills to pay. (laughs) And it's, it's it's just like what we had printed there. It's not like... It's not like you buy one and we'll print you one and send it to you. There's a limited quantity, so if you couldn't make the event, but you want you want a little something, shirts are still available. Well, you can leave a link down in the description. Are, can I say something that might compel people to buy a shirt? Are we allowed to say how much that just the venue alone cost? I don't think we should. <laughs> you don't think we should? Substantial. Tens of thousands of dollars. Let's just put it like that. If yeah. I said the event cost over twenty thousand U.S. dollars just for the venue, just to just to be there for a few just hours, just to be there, that's for not 12 the prep, hours. that's not the set, that's not the fir- that's not the time, that's just the hours that we rented that space. And I don't I don't say that to be like, oh, I, I say that to be like, it turned out how we wanted, and we invested in it, and you guys showed up, and it was oh yeah, amazing. like there was no we, there was no money to be made here. We did this yeah. just to. Just to be able to say we did it, just to be able to say that we met you. So thank, and no matter how so much thank we you, spent, thank you for coming. Yeah, no matter how much we spent, it will never, 
amount to the same as as you guys traveling as far as some of you did to be there yeah. and just incredible stories that you shared with me uh again i i know sam probably has his own stuff to say and his own stories but um the things you guys shared with me and and talked to me through just absolutely incredible like there was yeah. a point in the meet and greet where actual tears happened like somebody teared up yeah, and then hugged me, and then I fucking teared up, and it. I t I told him I was like, you. I think you just ruined my pictures with everyone else past you, like in this line, because now I'm now mm -hmm. I'm just a mess. Uh, just an absolutely incredible experience, and I can't thank you guys enough. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel I feel the same. I had a lot of great conversations, and yeah. I hate to say this, Sam. I got emotional too. I hate to say this, but uh, what I'm kind of itching to do another one. <laughs> Which I didn't expect. No, no, I didn't expect. No, I th I couldn't wait for this no, fucking thing to be over. John, but but the people I and the atmosphere it. and the energy is just like I wish I could just. Oh, it was awesome. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I wish I could put it in a bottle and just share also, it with everybody. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Like I, it, I I I've told multiple people this. I literally look at my life as pre and post event. Like I, I quite literally look at my life differently. Now, oh yeah. Like meeting people and I don't know. I also realized for myself it's like really fun to be on stage. Awesome. Um, that was something that I had never really yeah. done in this capacity, and that you was were great really on stage. Fun. No, you were you were even even better. But yeah, I just I don't know. I realized that that's really fun, and that I want to do that. It was more, and I it want to meet more people. And it was pretty <sighs> shocking how easy the transition is from doing this show to doing it on stage. Like it felt yeah completely natural, and the crap like. I, I wish we could do this show in front of a crowd every time. <laughs> it's so good, dude. I yeah i i was uh i would we I, I would say we were both kind of having a day. It was a little <laughs> stressful that day. I mean, I, a day. I, I, we I, were I having a week. That just that whole speak. time being in that in that area was just a fucking train wreck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, without was... going into details, the day before the event, there was a chance that it was going to get canceled because yeah. just paperwork had built up and there was. I can, there was a mix up and yeah, so it was down to the wire. Just the fact that it happened is a fucking miracle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And thanks to, thanks to Luke and Noah for doing it with us. It was really fun. You know, we had a good time on stage and yeah, yeah it's just people. It's, uh, I think people were, people were thrilled to see Luke and Noah. I mean, Hey man, next year, dub dub. Dude, there was something about it, huh? There was something about Dub Dub happening on Monday. Dub -Dub. Genius yeah. Bar goes dark on Tuesday. Gruber's event on Wednesday. Like, like I don't want. That was awesome. I don't want to step. I I don't want to step on Gruber at all. Well, we're 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 fairly close with Gruber. Um, I like I don't want to steal that that time slot from him, but I think I think it added to the week. I think the three peak was like I think that was cool. So I'm not saying I'm not committing to anything. You know, we're not committing <laughs> yeah, to anything no, next no. year, but uh, I liked how it felt. Yeah, it was fun. I don't know. Maybe next, maybe next year would be like a Genius Bar live type thing. Maybe we. Uh... You know, you, you know when we went to uh, we went to hmm. dinner the night after, and uh, our manager tried to float us like a tour. Like he wants us to go on tour with the fucking. No. Could you imagine, dude? Oh my god! I, I, I don't think we're there for tour yet. No, 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 no. I no, I don't. And I hey, also don't want to do that. And hey, hey, when you move, when when we move to LA and get the studio together, and we're doing this in person every week, let's just well, I, build. I, let's just build like a venue a on top of our studio. So <laughs> every event, they just venue. come to us like they do for Dub Dub. <sighs> Anyway, thank you guys. If you if you came, thank if you guys you watched, so much. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to watch the show, it's it's on our YouTube for free. Yeah. Um, Surprise! Wanna, uh, we didn't again, tell anybody if, about if, that. If you want to buy a shirt, they're like thirty five bucks. That would support us and also help us. Yeah. We're, we're either gonna break even or lose money. It's good. It's gonna. I be don't one care of the two. either way. No, no, I don't actually care. I'm just saying. We buy our shirt, please. <laughs> buy our shirt, <laughs> That's please. All I'm Oh, um, man. Please, please allow me. I mean, did my did my uh, did my debit account overdraft this week? <laughs> okay, okay, you know, what, let me. If anybody, no, okay, Sam, maybe, oh God, no, I I have to show this. Oh, no. Maybe people are like, I don't believe you. These guys are BSing. They're they're lying about the whole event. Maybe you feel that way, right? Maybe. You let do. me just show you a real screenshot from my Chase account. Oh no. Did you screenshot to preserve the awful memory? 
the memory. Um, hold on, I've almost got it. I'm trying to find it. Where are you at? This is not going well. I can't. Don't don't show me. Make make it go away. I don't know what happened. Everything's gone. Also, why is ah! your why why is your why are the lights red? Are you feeling dark and? No, mysterious? I just I'm gonna be honest. I like the way it looks. Last time it was because I was in hell. Now I'm just I just like the way it looks. It looks but cool. Genius Bar is there's no red in Genius Bar. I know you're off brand it, it, right now. iOS 17 wallpaper. You're off brand. Has red. I'm gonna be off brand. Um. Okay. So, anyway, that's the show. We got to do that. Let's move on to the next <laughs> that, segment. That's of the, show. the show. See you. See you later. Uh, I do. I do want to mention. I do want to mention. Oh. Okay. Uh, just the the amount of people, and I'm sure they it happened with you too. The amount of people that could quote Genius Bar or reference a specific <laughs> conversation that we had on this show. Who knows how many episodes go? Like, obviously, we make the show for you to listen, but I don't. So I shouldn't be surprised, but it's just it just warms my heart that you guys actually listen and remember stuff. You know, my my talks on this show multiple times about feeling like I I wanted to retire, dude. So many people like talking me out of it, and I'm not gonna lie, you bought me another year at least. Another year, <laughs> yeah, that's good, <laughs> um, dude. It it was a it was just a phenomenal event from start to finish. And I'm like afraid to stop talking about it because then it really is over till the next one. Dude, it's been over. Oh, I found it. This is a this is a what? real it's a real screenshot. Oh, oh, overdrafted by five hundo, huh? <laughs> Does showing the account numbers mean something? Yep, we're gonna censor that. We are gonna censor that. That's not good. Censor that. that. You're gonna censor that. Okay, that's okay. You can take it off the screen, so I don't have to censor more. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just that. It was worth every penny. That's all I'm trying to say. You got every worth, it. worth every penny. Listen. Speaking of being broke. <laughs> oh, God. That's such a perfect transition. You got her. You got. Oh, I have sound effects. You got her. You see it? <laughs> Yay. Why is it M2 Ultra Max Studio is in house now, guys? Why is it not plugged in? I got a little trick that I pulled on you guys. This is actually the M1 Ultra version. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so quirky, Marquez. <laughs> Dude, the M2 version's <laughs> behind me. I freaking pranked you guys, dude. You got them. It's been behind me the whole time. But they look exactly the same, and they have the exact same weight. So I'm going to talk about this as if it's the M2 Ultra. Okay. Did you, did so you hear me call you, Marquez? I got the Marquez? M2 Ultra. Did you order? Say what? Remember I asked you on stage if you ordered, and you said you were going to do it. Did you ever no, do I, it? No, I, I completely forgot. Actually, I should do it right now. Let's order a Mac Studio. Yeah, yeah. So what's what's your config going to be? Let Well, let's see. Do, 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 do. Wait, we should. I'll pull it up on Apple's website so people can follow along. Okay, do, thank do, you. Do. We're ordering a Mac Studio. Live. Order Mac Studio Live. Let's go, brothers. Are you going to get the MacBook Air 15? That's the first question. Uh, no. 13 inch okay. or go home forever. Okay, so if you show the screen, you've got two options for the Mac All Studio. All right, John. here's what Jern's going to do. Are you going to get the M2 Max or the M2 Ultra? We're obviously doing M2 Ultra. We're, we're not oh, stupid. Obviously. We're not little oh, boys. Okay, we're not okay. children. We're doing right, men we're work. We We're are doing men work. Okay. Uh, we are going to do... Hang You're going to bump see. up to the 76 core GPU? You're yes. we with the 60 Yep. We're, we're bumping up. We're going to bump up. okay. Uh, uh, let's do... Hmm. Now, I I'm would gonna recommend do, 192 gigabytes. I'm going to do 128 gig. I don't need 120... Yeah. I don't need 128, but I'm going to do that. So I, I did 128 as well. And then this is the most important. There's only one right answer. I'm, I'm doing here. two terabyte storage. What did you do? No, four. You Why'd do you four. do four? You, I almost did eight. I just didn't have enough money. What, dude? Yeah. I have all my stuff. I have so many external drives for stuff. I don't. No, I don't no, need no. that. Four is barely enough to do my job. I'm not even kidding. What are you? What are you doing? Uh, no. Put, uh, well, this isn't yours. This is mine. And I selected two terabytes. You bitch. Okay. So Final Cut door. Pro. Yes, I would love Final Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Apple Care so Plus for Mac? Nope. So you're out the door at sixty one ninety nine. It looks like I'm. Am I did I miss something? I feel like I'm missing something. Nope. It's just that easy. You did it. Um. Oh, okay. How, can I try Wait. How how much would they give me for my old Mac Studio? I wonder. Actually, no. I'm, you always sell it. Never trade in if you want the. Oh, they're one. trying to upsell me on the the Pro Display. You should get the pro display. Okay, we're skipping that. Okay. Uh, we're, Do they offer both? Oh, no, interesting. They only offer the studio display. Uh, Mac Studio. Da, 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 da. It says order today and get uh, by the end of the month. So June 28th. 
Wow, okay. Okay, oh, cool. buying with Apple Pay. Wow, I just heard it. He did it. Here we he go. Do Mac pick Studio. up in store. Imagine if I fucking picked it up in store. What do you, why do you, I pick up everything in store. I know, oh, but my store isn't close. Today. My store is in a different state. <laughs> so, oh, it's blocked because I exited out oh. the window. I'm sorry. Did you hear it? Yep, I did. She's wow. done. Yay, did we ordered a order Mac number? Studio Can, live did, did on. You was that an order number? Make sure you, maybe you need to blur that. Is I'll blur it. There? You're right. Go oh, okay. fuck. So much censoring in this episode. I'm going to forget <laughs> know, one I'm of sorry. these things. Um, okay, so I got it. What do you think? Initial impressions. I feel like an old man. I like completely forgot that it was yeah. a thing until you said it to it's my okay. face. That's what happens when you turn 30. <laughs> so <laughs> initial impressions is it's pretty good. Bluetooth better? Please. Please, uh, Sam. So initial impressions for that have been bad, but I want to give it a day. Because it was like, right, okay, to be it's fair. It's like any time there's more than two Bluetooth devices, it just kills yes, itself. To, to be fair, I it was like right after like a hard reboot with like a kernel extension being allowed. So I'm like, maybe it was going through some shit. Yeah. So I don't want to judge it yet. Maybe I, it's um, cerebral. If I if I enjoy it as much as I do now, I, I actually might make a video talking about the M2 Ultra because okay, uh, I okay, talked talk to Luke okay. about it as well. Talked to Luke and he was like, he seems pretty impressed with the M2 Ultra. I, I just, I'll say it feels better to me than the M1 Ultra. It should, should it not? Well, no, I'm, I'm saying like the M1 Ultra from the M1 Max was like, eh, it's better. But the M2 Ultra from the M2 Max Some, Sometimes with the Ultra, good. the M1 Ultra, I could like, and I don't know if this is, I don't know how to describe this, but I could like feel it trying. Like, yeah. Like, not that it wasn't powerful enough, but it was like held together with super glue. And it I could feel it slow. trying to be one chip. And uh, I don't know if that properly explains the feeling it, it of it. It felt Ultra. slower than it should have for the price. But I don't know. The M2 Ultra, I mean, it's a fresh install. So maybe it's that too. But I don't know. The M2 Ultra just. The M2 architecture did some stuff better. Like I think there's better media encoders in the M2 and stuff. And mm -hmm. is rend rendering I, it, videos better? Yeah, I mean, in the couple exports I've done and from the videos I've seen on YouTube of people, it's like cool. it can be like a minute faster on some exports. Oh, okay. Which is like okay, like a pretty big upgrade. So well, uh, well, yeah, a minute faster. It that fucking builds the longer the project is. That yeah. could save a ton of time for people. And this is like a five or six minute video. I the think perfect, I the perfect Mac for us. Like it. Oh, yeah. I hope they never stop. So this transition, I have, I actually have a lot I want to talk about today. Um, this transitions into something. It, God, I mean, with the live show, there's like four or five of us on stage. There's not enough time to dive in. I want to like dive more into WWDC now because. Okay, let's do it. I'm feeling a lot better this week about life, John. Are you? Why is that? Yeah. It's because uh, we our events done and everything, but it's also because Cerebral sponsored this episode. Of Yay, Cerebral! Yay. Guys, Cerebral, it's a 100% online mental health service that offers therapy and medication management for anxiety, depression, insomnia, stress, burnout, and more. Uh, John, would you say that the past like six months of our life were pretty... Uh, <laughs> Challenging. Don't make me do this during the ad read. Yeah, it was challenging. Sorry, I know we're supposed to be like serious, but like I'm, we're laughing through the pain. <laughs> yeah, um, that's what no, Cerebral's taught me. Uh, fun story. I missed my therapy today. You know why I missed my therapy? Why? It's because you got to go in, you got to do stuff. It's like a whole thing. You got to right? like it's physically like... get up. You got first of all, you got to feel like physically making it happen, and that is always like the barrier for me. This is completely online, uh, completely private between you and your therapist. You can schedule on your laptop through the mobile app. You can do calls, whatever works for you. Texting, even whatever works for you in that moment. However, you need to get your thoughts across and your feelings across. You can do it because Cerebral has your back. Also. I don't know if you know this, Sam, but this is a very fun fact about Cerebral, uh, amongst other services. 82% of patients report reduced anxiety. That's a lot of them. 70% of patients choose Cerebral because it's the most convenient option. And 75% of patients who report improvement in their depression see results in 60 days. That's uh, that's not a long time. Guys, and for Mental Health Awareness Month, this, uh, this time of the year, you can get an exclusive 50% off your first month of therapy by going to Cerebral.com slash Genius. That's Cerebral.com slash Genius for 50% or more off your first month of therapy. For quality mental health care that's accessible and affordable, join Cerebral today. Take care of your mental health and tell them Sam and Jern sent you. We, I feel like I, 
you know, there's so many people talking that you got to let people, you know, have their opinions and you don't want to spend too much time on one subject because you have so much to do. I didn't really get to talk about the Mac Pro and I made a TikTok about the Mac Pro that a lot of people disagree with. I think it's one of my least liked TikToks ever. Oh, people are uh, disagreeing because, with you right now too? Yeah, because yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, get there. we'll get to Vision Pro. Don't you worry. If you want Vision Pro talk, John, we've got a lot to talk about. For okay. This computer is silly and it doesn't make sense. It is quite silly. Everyone on TikTok goes, if you don't know it's for you, then it's not. Why are you hating on it? It's literally Dude, perfect. Dude, people just no, 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 take, no. I, I. No, no, no. I, I, I'm not just saying things. I'm not just saying the Mac Pro doesn't make sense because I can't afford it because I don't want it. I'm saying it doesn't make sense because it's missing the one fundamental thing that would make it make sense. Here's what Apple did with the Mac Pro, right? They throw the M2 Ultra in. If you buy this, by the way, this starts for the exact same specs. Spec for spec is the Mac Studio starts at $3,000 more. <laughs> also, uh, for audio insane. listeners, I'm sure you know by now, but it is the same form factor from 2019, like the same Intel form factor. One to one. Except Mac Studio inside of it. So it's just empty. It's just an empty house for little orphans. So you want to get the, the spec'd out chip, they charge you another thousand. So now you're at $79.99 instead of $69.99. You want to get that unified who, who memory is at 4 doing this? storage. You're you're looking at ten grand. This is for this. goofy. Now here's the thing: Does it look great? And do I want it because of the way it looks? Yes, I love the way this computer looks. I think this is a beautiful machine. I would I really wanted this computer. Agree. But I'm not buying it for one big reason. I said you have agreed with me. You said the same thing. You said for the Mac Pro to make sense, it needs something that it hasn't had. It needs graphics. And that. Well, sorry, could you say it a little bit louder? What does it need? <laughs> it needs graphics. If 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 every other Mac is doing just the typical Apple tropes, then the Mac Pro needs to. That's like the one area that Apple is always historically lacking. And huh. to get a new Mac Pro, like Ian Zelba, you know, talking to him for years about Apple Silicon when when it gets into the Mac Pro, all we need is graphics, and somehow. Somehow they still, they still kind of fucked it up. Dude, Apple announces this right. I'm excited. They say we've got not only the newest generation of PCIe in seven total, so more because there's more space. We've got all these great things that can provide twice the bandwidth for audio and video IO networking and storage cards. Okay, so, so one of the three things that makes the Mac Pro make sense is expandable storage. Okay. Okay. Sure. That's fair. Uh, the second thing is networking. <laughs> um, okay. I thought, I feel like like 10 gigabit Ethernet or like Wi-Fi is... Not enough, Sam. Not enough okay, for maybe, grown men. Maybe you've got a proprietary network or some kind of PC. Okay, so uh, maybe... The third thing is audio and video I.O. Now, this makes sense. If you're doing music production and you've got specific cards for software, you're running a live show. Sure, there are, there are things that PCI makes sense. Um, but then you could just buy the Intel Mac Pro because the Intel Mac Pro supported PCIe and supported all the existing cards, including, may I add, the Intel Mac Pro supported external GPUs. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. The new one doesn't. Listen, guys. I see what Apple's doing here. For a few select Do people, you? this is going to be awesome. For a what few are they doing? People, Tell us, please. Audio engineers. That's the one case where I see this makes sense. Audio engineers with their PCIe slots are going to be have custom audio cards for processing. I'm sure. so I'm sorry, but most audio engineers could the, the alt like the ultra chip is phenomenal. The oh yeah, just no, I know the the Max chip is phenomenal. Most engineers, audio engineers, could get away with a Mac Mini. <laughs> yeah, I mean Mike Dean, a uh, famous uh, Kanye Travis producer. He's been using like they sent Apple sends him like the spec'd out M1 Max MacBook Pro. He said it was phenomenal and did everything. Yeah, jo Jomo, Jonathan Morrison, 
produces yeah, on we like an M2 studio. Pro Mac Mini or something. Mm-hmm. Doing spatial audio. Like, so what I don't understand is why Apple. How, d- is how dare so... they put 3D rendering on that? Sc- scroll yes. up. How dare yes. they put that there? How Dude. dare they? Here is what I don't get is why they're so resistant. Why don't you make a special slot for a 4090? Say, we worked with our friends at NVIDIA to bring something to the Mac that's never been done before. With Apple Silicon, out of the gate, we support the NVIDIA RTX 4090. The People only- would lose their minds. And John, I'm going to say something. Even if it was 10 grand, mm-hmm. I would have bought that Mac Pro in a heartbeat. With 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 the graphics card support, the only or way that makes sense was something else that Apple did. The only way that makes sense is if they're working on something. I mean, like the same way they have redesign. issues with Qualcomm, and they don't work well together, even though they have to because Apple has historically been working on their own modems. Uh, so unless something is like unless they know something that we don't, which I'm hoping they do. Uh, but either way, like even if you are working on something for a little on down the road, that a little on down the road is still not right now. And this is what they're giving us right now. And I don't just I just don't know about it. I, I it's it doesn't make any sense why like they would waste our time at dub dub for this. Yeah. I mean, I guess um hooray, Apple Silicon transition complete, finally. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, that's what sorry, we got. Round of applause. They did it. Yeah. Every, every Mac. I don't. Does Apple sell any computers with Intel anymore? Mm-hmm. I don't think they do. That's it. It's over. Um, it's over. Uh, now, John, I had the maybe same that's why. As you. Maybe they just wanted to fucking finish it and just. I don't know. I had the same thought as you, right? I was like, oh, surely they're working on something. Turns out, at, at the sh- talk show live that we saw, John Gruber asked about this. Here's what John Turnus, head of Apple Silicon Engineering, had to say. Fundamentally, we've built our architecture around the shared memory model and that optimization. So it's not entirely clear to me how you'd bring in another GPU and do so in a way that is optimized for our systems. It hasn't been a direction that we wanted to pursue. Well, third-party cards is not something that they're wanting to pursue. It's, it's still a graphics option from them, and a better integrated graphics option from them is still on the table. Yes. Like, I would love for them, the way they focused on, like, just encoding. Like, there's a there's a separate ProRes encoding engine on the uh, on Apple Silicon chips. And... Which is great for video. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes. Why aren't we... Why don't we have a similar focus to, on graphics? <sighs> My only theory is, like you said, it's not ready yet. So is it something wild? Is it some, is it going to fucking is it going to do to graphics what Apple Silicon did to just regular, you know? CPUs? I mean, I can only hope, but like I'm just saying I I will drop a silly amount of money because let me tell you why. Because that say, means what are you I, can get, I can get rid of my PC. Mm, okay. Yeah. I can put a, I can if I can get 4090 performance in a I Mac forgot Pro, you 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 have a I PC. I can game on my yeah, I have a forty ninety build also for renders and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's it's phenomenal for rendering. It's literally the best card essentially out there, and it it does the job and it helps us do work and it's worth the investment and it's awesome. But it's PC and it's Windows and it's mm-hmm. horrible because it's PC <laughs> and it's Windows and it's horrible. Yeah, and God, like I just there were a couple times during John Gruber's show where I just wanted to yell out and be like, guys, come on, please, yeah. Jaws, just let him talk, let him say, like. Or I don't know. Why not tease that you're working on a GPU? Be like, you know, we're we're looking at it. Yeah, we're looking at a GPU. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just disappointed. Nah, in Mac Pro, no, 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 no. I, I don't think they I should don't. ever hint that they're working on it. No. I, I know, but until yeah, they're I'm until just, they're actually ready to come out with something, I want I want to be I want to be surprised. But I'm not so here. We haven't. We're not hearing anything. It's I'm just making this up. It's not like we're oh, hearing yeah. rumors. Yeah, yeah. No, there's no rumors that Apple's working on GPU. Hey, somebody just bought some shirts. Let's go. Yay, thank you. Thank you to whoever you just are bought great. some t-shirts. Just got the notification from Shopify. Appreciate it. Hooray. You thank you. Um, okay. 
So that's that's Mac Pro. So I, I, just to be clear, John, you're choosing Mac Studio over Mac Pro. Oh, absolutely. I see. Even though you could get the same. Okay. So I don't same. see me choosing Mac Pro ever. Like, um, no. As long as there's still, as long as there is a Mac Studio in the in the product line, uh, that is like my sweet spot. I feel like everything I could possibly want is in Mac Studio. If they got rid of that, though, then we'll talk. But as long as Mac Studio is still around, then that's my that's my that's my buddy. Can I just say something to? Also, I'm like the same that? shape as the Mac Studio, so it's like we're you know <laughs> you guys are brothers, <laughs> dude. Apple, thank you for making the Mac Studio and making a device for creators. That's what I'm and, saying. Uh, oh, dude. and updating it. This isn't an iMac Pro situation where we remember we were like the Mac Studio is a stopgap. Remember, remember how German said the Mac Studio was going to be dead. Yeah, and remember how scared we were about that? Yeah, it's not. It's here. It's back. Thank you. Yeah. Thank they you, can't, Apple. It can't just be this a one-off. Like it, yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. It is an amazing product. and it, Arguably the, the perfect Mac. Yeah, the M2 Ultra with the updated Wi-Fi 6, updated Bluetooth 5.3, and I've seen reports from reviewers that like the cooling is even better. So apparently it's like even quieter, even though I, yeah. I didn't hear it in the first place. But you know, though it's not it's for quieter. most people. Like most people will get by with a MacBook Air or or even a Mac Mini. Like to me, this is the pinnacle of Apple Silicon. Like this is like this is mm. when Apple came out with this. It was like holy shit! Like they th this is exactly the focus that they were so sure about what this is, about what it does, and who to market it to, and it just yeah. felt. Maybe we're biased because it was marketed to us <laughs> specifically, yeah. but it's like Apple Silicon is able to fit in this tiny little perfect package with like mm. just the right amount of I/O. I would take a little bit more, but you know, I'm not complaining. Honestly, I'm I'm pretty happy with the I/O. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, if you want look more, look at I/O, it. Look how we, pretty it is. We, I we almost want to unplug everything from mine just to hold it. <laughs> the Mac Pro has more USB-C and USB-A ports than this, so. If you want yeah, a Mac for Pro, that like would be an option. Yeah, for like $3,000, $4,000 more. Is it, less, is it a grand per extra port? Probably. <laughs> I think it might be. Um, yeah, and dude, just like the SD card slot on the front. Oh. I don't use SD um, cards anymore, oh, but thank you. Also, I didn't mention uh, US, uh, HDMI 2.1 on the back. So it supports 8K oh, wow. for the first time. So you can drive an 8K display, um, which is sick. What I, a perfect yeah, little I, computer. I, yeah, I got to be honest. Seeing that Mac Studio at Dub Dub and you know, having it sit behind me now, it's... Uh, Feels 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 like she's screaming. Well, I'll see uh, you on the twenty eighth. It feels good. Yeah. What are you I mean, doing with that Mac Studio? Are you going to use it in place of your Mac Mini or? No, no, I'm selling selling it. Got to okay. recover. Got to recover the cost. <laughs> oh, I see. Maybe I should put it on Twitter. I've never done that. If anybody wants to buy it, that would maybe be so easy. Buy it, Probably maybe be send, gone send in me minutes. a DM. Should I say that? Send send me a DM if you would be interested yeah. in Mac Studio. I'll I'll sell it for pretty much what it's going for. Yeah, I don't I don't know what it's worth, but yeah, yeah put sure. it on Twitter. <sighs> It'll probably sell. Right. Hey, Sam, guess what? What, man? It's summer. We're sponsored by summer. Yes, <laughs> no, we're sponsored. The favorite season of the year. We're sponsored by Manscaped because it's time to unveil your beach bod, Sam. Listen. Yes. Manscaped been around since I I think like the first 10 episodes of Genius Bar. They have That's been supporting crazy. us forever. Manscaped is dedicated to helping you increase your confidence and level up your full body grooming game with the Performance Package 4.0. Did you know the kit comes with the essential lawnmower 4.0, waterproof, cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine. Sam, have you have you tried this yet? Dude. Did you get the new Performance think... Package? You think I'm not buzzing the boys every buzzing 30 the seconds? Boys. Did you they write sure that or did you make that up? <laughs> I, I, I've made that up, according to me, <laughs> everybody. Hey, if uh, you want, we'll give you that line, Manscaped, for a couple more dollars. Just a couple more. Guys, listen, they've got the lawnmower 4.0. It even has tr additional trim guard lengths with sizes 1 to 4. Maybe you want to leave a little bit of the forest going. Maybe you want a little <laughs> bit down there. You know, for me, I like to go just obliterate. Yeah, but but buzz them boys. <laughs> I don't have to worry about with the skin safe technology. You know, it's a lot safer down there. Hope should you hope should not absolutely actually obliterate the parts. <laughs> and one, and once the they're hair. clean, once they're clean and you've you've whacked the weeds, did you know they also have the crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver yeah. ball toner? Have you ever toned your balls at home? It's my favorite thing to just spritz, spritz, spritz and lay on my back in the bed and just let the fan air dry my balls. It's a visual you don't need, but after you buzz your boys, there's nothing better. Guys, you can get 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. <laughs> May I just say, free shipping is awesome. I love free I like shipping. Them, I like and I also love 20% off. 
and use code genius. Don't forget that you came from your dad's balls because it's Father's Day. Good one, guys. This show, <laughs> this year, show your original home some love with Manscaped. Wow. Okay. All That's, right. Thank they're you. They're really Man- putting it all out there. Thank you, Manscaped. Are we gonna get? Is, are we gonna get in trouble for this? Is this allowed? Dude, that's their words. <laughs> Thank you, Manscaped. <laughs> um, should we uh, should we address the um? So the name of this video is going to be this. I've already I already know what the name of this podcast is for the first time ever. Okay, go ahead. The Vision Pro debate. <laughs> is that the name? Because John, I love you. Really, I do. <laughs> I know you're a good guy, regardless of other people do or not. And I am worried. For you, <laughs> I, I am, what are you I, no, I'm saying? Serious. I'm, serious. I'm worried that you're going to do damage to your reputation that you can't come back from. Oh my! You are overreacting, my my beautiful friend. But go on. I think you are very wrong about the Vision Pro. That's that's okay that you think I'm wrong. I hope I am. It's not, I don't want to f- be this way. I watched your whole video. I'm glad. This is the day and after that video came out, by the way. So, uh, yeah. I just think you have a lot wrong. Okay. Should we start where we agree? Let's start where we agree. Where is that? The presentation wasn't good for this product, the initial presentation. Then it sounds like you agree with my video because that was like, that's that's the premise. That's it, the, the, premise, the video isn't about the product. It's about the first impressions, about the presentation so it sounds like we agree but i don't go as far as you in saying that's doing like damage to the product because from what i've seen most other people really like the presentation who's most other people everyone that's tried it everyone that was invited to try it by apple yes okay i won't you know okay come on that I'm just, listen, you invite a bunch of nerds to see an incredible tech demo, of course they're going to be amazed. Of course, it's an incredible tech demo, but that's not, that's that's the point of the video, is that Apple isn't a tech demo company. But But of course the nerds were impressed. I would be too. I'm sure it's great. Here's where you're wrong, is you've let this change your opinion about the product. And I see why. And I'm not saying you're inherently wrong. I'm just saying down the line, I think this is going to be one of those moments where you're like, I flip too fast and too hard. And I should have just been more patient. Okay. okay. Can I <laughs> reply? Of course. So I waited a whole week. <laughs> I had time to simmer and, and to think. I had time to, again, at the meet and greet, I mean, you the first when we handed the mic to that, them, the yes. first question was to me and like trying to talk me back into the headset. Yeah. The meet and greet. I had people that would come up to me and be like, so really, like, what is it? What did you want? Like they there were of course there are people that agree with me and I said the things that they were feeling. I just put it into words. Yeah. Uh, but there are a lot of people that uh, do feel the same way that you do, that I am, that I just, it's just because I haven't tried it or that I'm confused or I'm jumping to conclusions. And to the answer, the answer to the, all that is, I have been doing this, we have been doing this for a long time. We have been yeah. doing this for 10 years. The, e- the, easy, yeah. the easy tropes of, oh, you just didn't try it, or, you know, it's like typical talking points from your favorite YouTubers that then gets applied to me, uh, I believe is unfair. And I think that you should, it's, there's, the context should be allowed here, that I have been doing this for a long time. I've seen every new Apple product that they've released for the last fucking 15 years. And I'm not just naive here. I think that I have... Uh, I think I have a foundation to my thought process here. And I think that this, I think it speaks to the fact that Apple is confused. I don't think that the the device will flop. I don't think that in in a couple of years, things won't look much, much better. But I think that it is completely, for the first time in a long time, up to developers to, to fix this. Because I don't think Apple knows 
what what we're supposed to do with this. I think they're a bit confused and a bit disconnected, and uh, I am completely relying on devs to save it. I would argue the exact same thing was true about the Apple Watch. Uh, I'd say... <sighs> and it ultimately ended up being fine because people realized they wanted it for fitness. Uh, but, like... That was always part of Apple's vision. It's like they weren't confused; they just weren't there yet. The way they they, they announced with like a, with a sport variant, they they announced with with a, a bunch of different options. They knew how it would be used. They just needed to. They were just facilitating that. Whereas in this case, I feel like it's almost a blank slate. It's like I said it in the video. It's a it's a product that is entirely tech first, and. That's just not impressive enough to me. Like, that doesn't justify that it exists. Also, I didn't know you were going to put me in your video, bro. Uh, why? I mean, I, I didn't know like, I was going to either, but I look like a Zoomer recording it on my phone. <laughs> You're recording TikToks. It's fine. I know. And people really like the TikTok. About I the actually app. saw well, that, like it. yesterday or around that time, uh, I saw your TikTok that you were recording right there. Yeah. When you picked up Ian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did do that. Um... I, I I am happy to be wrong about this. I think that people are uh they're misunderstanding my intentions here. I'm not trying to I just want you to be able to take a step back and think about things differently. And that's what a lot of the comments on that video said. Like, wow, like this made me think about not the product, but like the entire process a bit differently. And that's all I want to do. I wanna I wanna present you with questions that make you think. And I am in no way saying that, yeah, I'm not saying fuck this headset. Uh, and people are like, oh, you're definitely going to buy it and try it. Yes, of course I am. <laughs> my opinion in that video, none of my opinions in that video hold any weight if I'm, if I'm unwilling to try it. I'm not naive. I'm not just like blowing smoke up your ass. Like this is how I truly feel. I had a no, whole no, week to, to absorb everyone's arguments. I had a whole week to be convinced otherwise. And what good is uh, what good am I in this position if I'm not going to, you know, share my thoughts? I, I even if I'm wrong, you know, a couple years from now or whatever, I'd I'd be happy to be wrong. I was praising this product until, you know, last week. <laughs> yeah, no, I I and I'm not saying that you don't actually I I, I believe you. I you believe think this you hurts my this reputation? Way. That that's what scares me more is that you actually I, <laughs> I think I've hurt my the, reputation a because, bunch of other ways. <laughs> and and here's here's the context that I have. Okay. I was with you watching the keynote. You were. We were right next to each other, hips to and hips. And I I saw you flip in front of me from us being freaked out, so excited huh. in the TikTok, to you going, no, no, what? And I admit the keynote was weird and it was definitely a different approach that Apple took to unveiling this new product, completely different than the Apple Watch. I still am of the opinion that it's ready because I've seen a lot of people be like, this was too early. Apple should have waited for the glasses. I disagree. I don't not even I, I would you know, I would love for them to wait for the glasses, but I don't think that's realistic. I just think yeah. that this form factor this large is that that is too soon. Yeah, so that I mean that that's where you're not just talking about the, the unveil of the product. You're talking about the product itself. You have concerns, right? Uh, uh, the just the overarching project, not the single product, but the whole what Apple Vision is likely to become. Okay. And Apple's pitch was three things, right? It was a 3D camera. Mm -hmm. It's the best movie theater you've ever been in, and it's for connecting others in a way you've never been able to do before with personas and the, the FaceTime. Like, that was the three things. Surprisingly... FaceTime's goofy as hell, by the way. I'm going to wait to try it. You know what? I think it clicked. I think I think a lot just clicked in my head about... Uh, me, I, I think I did have expectations in a way that... Uh, not the exact feature, but that, that feeling I had when I tried the Quest... And I was in the room with uh, with Brian when I first tried it, and then the context of like we just came out of a pandemic, like the, so many so many things, just so many emotions happened at one time, and that was on the Quest that I paid four hundred dollars for. It has like four pixels inside, and everyone looks Five. like a cartoon, but it felt real. It felt like I was actually present with the person in the room. 
And the way Apple had a chance to do it, they're just putting you in another fucking window. They're, it's just FaceTime. It's just another. It's just another window on a display. And it's just like what I I can just buy the. I have displays. I don't need this for that. It just felt disconnected from from its actual potential, and that's what hurts me. It's just like. I said it in the video and I said it leading up to to that announcement on this podcast like this is going to this might change my perception of Tim Cook and it really has. I take him far less seriously now. Not in terms of a CEO because I know I know in terms of making money and making the most products for the most people, I trust him. But the lack of understanding and vision for this space is just it hurts me a lot. It has me questioning Tim quite a bit. I think it has I, I, other executives questioning Tim quite a bit too. I disagree. I oh, disagree. That's fair. And I, I saw you brought up German's report and I saw you brought up how example executives don't have faith. I I don't believe that. Dude, at, at, and I think they cut it out, but at Gruber's show, Craig referred to it as the, the Vision Pro thing. Like Craig was totally in that moment, not about that headset. He didn't give a single fuck. He, sp he spouted off the press points because Jaws was sitting there when Jaws gave him a look. But there were times in that where he just didn't want to talk about it. So, but that's, it's not, he hasn't worked on it. His, he is the SVP of software you, uh, for iOS. So he can't be excited about it if he thinks it's an amazing product? Like you don't think he's just as, as excited about an Apple Watch or, or, or whatever? I, I, didn't, I don't see him talk about the Apple Watch ever. You don't Ever. think you don't think he was excited about the Apple Watch when it was announced? Like that was a big thing that he was happy to talk about. I think that's not his specialty and what he focuses on. I think as a smart person, he stays in his lane. I didn't and is like I, this is what I'm good at. I don't make any of those products, and I can talk about all of them and be excited about all of them. I know, but I'm just saying, we're, we're Craig is a different person than us. He's more of an engineer brain, and I think that's what has led to so much success is that he's. It an feels expert weird in his that you're field. doing this. It's like you're gaslighting me because we were. Uh, he was like. It's like, especially with the context of German's thing, it's very clear how he, to me, it's very clear. He's, it's, it's coming out pretty clearly how he feels about the headset. And you're just like writing it off and giving him excuses. And I, and it just feels, it's so, <laughs> it's uh, listen, so listen, clear. Let me be clear. I see how you feel that way. That's just a little conspiratorial. It's, a more, it's more of an emotional way to look at it's it. It's conspiratorial and I with just the report. But when you have just the when you have the report and the further context of how he's behaving, and you, I was sitting in the room with Craig no, Federighi. But, but John, it was one comment. It he called it the headset thing. That that, that was one comment. Anything, on, that was one comment on top of the minutes prior where he was dancing around talking about it. I don't. I again, I can see how you could read into it that way. Mm -hmm. I don't think that is the most logical way to read into it. <laughs> so confusing, and, but okay. And let's 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 throw another question at me. It's more I have to be on the defensive. Why are there no Apple executives wearing it? Okay, go ahead. You are, are, you want me to ask you? Well, I want to hear your take first. Why I think they're not wearing it? Yeah. Because I don't think they take it seriously. Yet. I think that's silly. Okay, that's fine. Because you were you were saying the same thing. Genius Bar goes dark. You were saying it was weird too. I did. Uh, is it because done... Andrew Edwards put out one tweet that's like they didn't wear AirPods Max either or whatever the fuck? Great point, though. May I say? Is that, great point. Is that what you're about to say? Uh, no, that's part of the thing. But okay. the second thing is, uh, I was listening to The Verge, and there's a rumor that the the and and they confirmed when they were testing the headset, the front screen didn't work yet. It wasn't ready. Okay. So if it's not ready, they're not going to wear it because it wouldn't look right and it would look goofy or it would just be black and Apple doesn't want Apple wants you to see that it shows your eyes. So of course no executives are going to wear it. Are you fucking and, and, goofy, bro? And and this is the Hang on, no no no, time out. Time out. Are you fucking high? No, what? Okay, the screen didn't work. Yeah. They still showed it working on models. This was a pre-recorded event to yes, say that they couldn't but, do the same thing with Tim Cook that they did with every other person that wore it in that presentation is nuts. That's nuts. Dude. I'm not talking about Tim Cook at WWDC live in front of everybody putting it on. 
I'm saying he wasn't see they had many chances to make it look like it was working just like they made it look like it was working on the models in the presentations and they didn't. But dude, there's a r- You're not going to convince me that Apple is calculated as Apple is was like Oh no, it's it's going to look goofy and we don't want this product to look bad so they're not wearing it. There's there's just no way. That is not okay, a real that is that is a silly take, John. You, that's, this is but it Apple still does talking it, about. It still does not paint the it doesn't paint the picture. It doesn't it, saying that still doesn't answer the question. Cuz I, I could think... easily say that just as well that like I said in the video that this was this was obviously a decision, a collective decision that was made in a room together. Yeah. I, whatever their reasoning, uh, we don't want it to look like a meme, okay? Then maybe don't make something look fucking stupid. Like, there's, uh, uh, there's whatever, they have their own excuses that we'll likely never, ever know. They have a reason. I don't know what that reason is. All I know is the end result. They're not wearing it. I think it's very smart that they didn't wear it, by the way, as well. Why? Because it makes you focus on the product and it doesn't make you focus on how it looks when you wear it. Because at the end of the day... You're in a room by yourself wearing it. It doesn't matter what it why, looks like. Why is it okay for their the people they show on screen to wear it, but not Tim? Because how is that? How is that any it different? To feel familiar and approachable. Again, this is calculated. This is not like Apple's like, oh fuck, nobody took the photo of Tim wearing it. Guys, we gotta get. Oh, he's gone. No, we guys, why do we? Dude, everything is calculated with this. You saw the event. You know Apple wanted to feel approachable. Of course, they're not showing the dystopian CEO wearing it because that's what Meta has done for every single headset is Mark Zuckerberg wears it and says, this you, is the future. So I'm, instead he, of I'm Apple, hearing a lot of just like confirming my, my opinion here. Like, instead of Apple telling you this is the future, they're showing you. No, they the aren't. And I personally don't... Th- I personally didn't love that approach in the keynote, but I think for the mainstream, nope. it's working. And I think it's going to pay off. So are, are you saying that you don't think Tim is ever going to wear this? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that I don't think he's ever going to wear it. I, I only presented the question, why is he not? That's all. I, I'm not saying he'll, he's... I'm not put, drawing a line in the sand and saying that this product is doomed. Tim is never going to wear it. There's no, there's no path forward from here. That's not what I'm saying. My entire premise was simply that they had one that they they only have one time to announce this for the first time, and they used it, and it was bad. That was the entire video. It ends there. That means that my opinion is free to change when when and if the product gets better. I said in the video, I'm confident Apple will figure it out eventually. Uh, this this particular launch just left a, b- a bad taste in my mouth, and I don't know how else to express that. It's just like a gut feeling. I wish I had, you know, that video is one that I wrote 70%, 75% myself. Um, I gave Brian talking points, and he started he started like putting it together, but I went in and like I act- those were my actual thoughts, and I did my yeah. best putting my feelings into words but the, at the end of the day, that's all it is. It's like a gut feeling. Uh, and again, I've been doing this for a long time. I don't know exactly why I feel the way that I do, but I know it matters. And so uh, I don't know what comes later. I don't know who's on the right side of history here, but uh, I, I I would feel like I didn't do my job if I didn't speak to it, especially since so many people were like wondering. And I think at Genius Bar Goes Dark, it came off kind of abrasive because it was the day it was a day later and I didn't have time to write down my thoughts and think about it. That's sure. why we script things. Um so I think a lot of people just assume that I'm just being negative and cynical and that's I don't want to come across like that and so that's why I put the video out. I don't want to I it's like in a lot of ways like with you and with Luke and a lot of people that are in the comments I think we actually agree. I think that you're I think that uh either maybe I I translated poorly or or maybe it was like a misstep on my end because it seems like a lot of people agree that the event didn't didn't do it the proper justice. And that was really my point. Yeah, I, I but I think we disagree on the fact that you said this was their this was their one shot and they met they missed. And I disagree. Okay. I think this was a shot that they could have done better on. Okay. However, this don't come out for fucking seven or eight months, dude. Yeah. There are going to be so many events. They're going to give this to so many celebrities and people to show it off. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, yeah, like there, there's, 
I like I, you know I what, see Apple, what you're saying. Apple, can you send me one so I can prove him wrong? Can you? Can you <laughs> this sorry, is can you your just chance. Let me try it on? Can you just give me the thirty minute trial so I can come back and like have zero percent doubt? Because that's the thing, John. As well, is every single, every single person that tried this on was like, "This is unlike anything I've ever." Of touched. course, because it is unlike anything they've ever tried. It is a. I said it's a technological masterpiece. But it's of not, course, no, no, no. The, it's not just the tech that they're praising. They're saying Andrew Edwards said it was the single most impressive experience he's ever had with a piece of consumer tech ever. He said that at our show. Yes, it because in a vacuum, fucking catching the butterfly, petting the dinosaur, in the vacuum, that tech demo is one of the most incredible. I'm sure I would walk out saying the same thing. I'm sure with the opinion I have right now and trying it, I would also come out of that tech demo and say that was one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. But I'm also very sure that I would I would still stand by what I said about that event. I this is just like again, just cuz they made it isn't uh, isn't enough. Like there's something missing here that I feel in in my heart and in my gut and like at the very least, I just hope that people respect that I spoke on it the way I did. I don't want you to feel like I ruined my reputation, or I don't want you to think that I need help. Like usually, you and I, we agree on stuff, and I just have a different opinion. And I hope that people add the context of how long I've been doing this, and 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 my typical thought process with Apple and how I think of the bigger picture, and consider that that. With all of that, no, with knowing all of that about me, and I'm still saying this, I must have thought about it pretty, pretty long. That's why I said I'm worried. That's <laughs> I thing. thought long enough and so, still came up listen, with that. <laughs> the, the haters watch your video and said he's doing this for views and clickbait. Negative Apple sells. I, I, I want to be clear. I don't think that. I, okay. I know you actually feel this way. Yeah. Because you, I mean, you were why, like you said, you were with me in person. You saw me fucking. You saw yes, my batteries yes. drain. No, no, I saw the switch flip in your head, where all of a sudden you went from "this is awesome" to "what the hell." And I get it because that was my initial reaction to. Yeah, and then there's I video. About I mean, it. I don't know if we'll ever release the whole thing, but like when they showed it. I didn't have a problem with how it looked. I was fucking screaming, jumping up and down. Yeah. So the problem isn't that it's big and that it's a lot. It's that it's big and a lot and does not the things it should do. Yeah. And I, I think there's going to be more that comes out with it. I think Apple's going to announce course. a lot more. And I'm sure your opinion will develop over time. But, mm -hmm. you know, my my ass just on the record being like, this shit going to this shit going to be cool as hell. It is going to be cool as hell. I don't and everybody's that. saying... That the 3D video and photo thing is going to be a failure. Oh no that that Disagree. is that's the thing. That's like the that's only the human killer thing. feature for me. Yeah, that's it. I think it's a little fucky and funny, but yes. like, oh, it looks hilarious. But the like smiling, for you, like looking, for the person wearing it, it's gonna be incredible. That's amazing. Yeah. Like, oh, so, dude, I wish we had it. I wish we would have had it for Genius Bar Goes Dark, so I could relive yeah. the memories with all those people. Yeah, dude, and like. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm very excited for this. I cannot wait to try it. If there's anybody from Apple, anybody, please let me try it. Please, <laughs> I want to try it so bad. I want to try it so bad, Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> um, I, I have, I have spent a lot of time listening to opinions. I mean, we've done the same thing, right? Yeah. I, I have come away with a stronger conviction that it's going to be a good product. You've mm -hmm. come away with a weaker conviction that it's going to be yeah. great. Which is, again, I'm, like, I'm not being like, you can't feel that way. I'm just like... It's odd, isn't it? Because like, even still, I don't doubt where we're going. Oh, yeah. No, I know. Like, I don't doubt that the, the idea that Apple Vision, Vision OS, is the future. So like, we're still on the same page. Uh, sure. It's not like I'm off the train now. I still am rooting for AR and VR. I fucking love it. Um, but, you know, Zuckerberg in that interview uh, that I posted in that video, first of all, odd interview because for once and ever, he looked like a human, like he was talking like a regular person <laughs> and not a robot. He's has um, training. But he, he, he mentioned that like, if anything, he thinks this will drive more attention to the quest. And I think that is 
completely true. Apple coming into this adds legitimacy to the entire thing. Not uh, Apple did that with 5G. 5G had been around, whatever. They come in, with, and now their phones have 5G, and now it's legitimate. Apple does that. That's like... That's part. That's that is what innovation truly is. Like people think, oh, new features that you, I blink and my phone scrolls for me. Samsung did it first. That's innovation. No, innovation just for the sake of it is not innovation. Things that actually move the market forward. That's that's real innovation. So whether or not I, whether or not I latch on to vi first gen Vision Pro, is like it's still it's still innovative. It's still going to change the market and. The fact that, like, I, I get more excited about my Quest now, too, because, like, I see it's like the Quest is fun to me. And uh, I, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for more people to be introduced to AR and VR through this. I'm excited for more people to get their hands on a Quest. And I'm glad that there's still a market for Quest as well, because, you know, there's like, you know, there's there's people that'll buy the iPhone 14 Pro, but then there's there's still people that really love, you know, the SE, you know? And I think that, I think there will, you know, people will buy Vision Pro, but I think there will, the, the market will only grow for Quest because now it's a, it's an, a lower entry point and people will be interested and curious. And I think that, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm excited for the industry as a whole more than anything. I'm excited. Like, I obviously I'm rooting for Apple more because, you know, I love them. And I want them to do well, but I'm very excited for what this does for the entire VR AR industry. Like it's it's a it's a game changer. Here's the thing, though, everything else still sucks. The Quest Three the is Quest gonna suck. The Quest does not suck. It doesn't suck. The it doesn't the last, suck. Like me, I don't know what you're last, saying. When, when, when's the last time you used it? Two nights ago. And was it a good experience? <laughs> yes, I don't. Because I'm, I used mine two nights ago as well, what? and I got a headache immediately. <laughs> I was miserable. It fogged up my glasses, and I was like, this Dog, is one of the worst I products I've ever touched. No, what? Dude, you're, I, what are you saying? We have been historically excited about the Quest. Yeah, and then I saw what a good product looked like. I was you hoping... Saw with Sam, this because it was you all saw, we had. You saw what that product could be at a peak price point with peak resources thrown into it, with peak R&D. Not every product is going to be peak R&D. Not every... Zuckerberg, no other company is crazy enough to make something that, one, costs $1,500 in parts just to make it, and then you have to slap a $3,500 price tag on it. The companies can't do that. For what the Quest is, it's incredible. Standalone, on your face, everything in one. Could there be more pixels? Could there be a better resolution? Of course. Yes, of course. Yes. But for you got to keep in mind, you paid $400 for this thing, dude. And it puts you in other places. Walkabout mini golf is an insane yeah, experience. I playing, like I was playing that, yeah. Like, it's fun. It, it's to, cool. To say that it sucks is like, I just feel like that's no, unfair. No. I didn't say walkabout mini golf sucks. No. I said the experience of the headset sucks. No. And that is something I, I will stand very by much the disagree. Day I, die. I very much disagree. Because, dude, that's the thing. I was like, just like you, you predicted it to the T. You said this is going to spur excitement about other AR and VR products. Dude, I went back to that quest. I was like excited. I was like, I haven't touched this in about a month. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to play mini golf. And I put it on and the software was literally unusable. We had to restart it multiple times. The game was great, but it was super uncomfortable. The controllers and having to have a controller when you don't necessarily need it for interaction is dumb. Mm -hmm. And it just made me say, yet I, I was like, it, it had a, I'm going to, I'm going to coin this right now. Um, we're going to call it the coal effect. It's a boomerang. Okay. It's where you think. That Apple will spur interest in the broader market, but when you realize the broader market sucks, you go back to the source, which is Apple. I, oh Sam, cool now, now I feel bad about you. Like I feel like, like this dude, is just. What I'm, I'm are serious. you saying? What are you? You think? Dude, why do people switch to Android and go back to the iPhone? This is not why did the you same. Switch this is not Android? the same. This is not. The why same. are people going to start with the Vision this Pro is not and then the be same. like, "It's too much"? Not the same. It is. I it is iPhone strong. and Android literally do the same tasks, and one just objectively does it better to us. Some people don't think that. <laughs> some people. That's some not people don't think that. Then. That's subjective. Yeah. 
But, I believe that. But but the but Vision Pro and the Quest do not do all of the same things. They have different trajectories. What do you mean? They do exactly the no, same. No, they don't do the same thing. Quest has a much larger focus on VR and being placed somewhere else. The Vision Pro is much more heavily focused on AR, which by the way, I think is more the future than VR ever will be. I think there's a ton of, of use cases for VR that. and it's incredible, but AR is more for everybody. So Apple's trajectory makes sense for them, just not in the form factor and in the package that they're presenting it in. They don't do, I they do not do the same things. They do not have the same focus. They don't. I, I disagree. I think they do. I think they're the exact same product. That's odd because it's like objective. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> The the dude the quest allows you to be in the same room with other people allows you to watch movies we've literally watched movies together on big screen mm -hmm. and it also allows you to do the AR with the cameras if you need to I mean there's the quest you can argue the quest pro is closer to this which of course it is it's got full color yeah. faster it is more AR but notice My notice that I don't is. that I think the quest pro missed its mark like it's not just an Apple thing I don't <laughs> like the quest pro we returned our quest pro it's like yeah. What they did, like resolution wise and product wise, yeah, it's an impressive thing, but it's not enough. It's so I already went, I already fucking returned my fifteen hundred dollar Quest so Pro to go back to my Quest Two. The Quest Two offered me a better overall experience for what I believe this is, and so I'm just, it's, just, I'm just being consistent now. That's all this is. And my argument is, you're only saying this because you haven't experienced good vr and ar yet you oh i don't need to touch i don't need to touch fire to know it's hot like i i am john I, i'm not at all hang on i'm not at all saying like i'm i am openly telling you and communicating to you that first of all i am going to try this and i acknowledge already that it's going to be amazing just from the product demo alone it's mind-blowing like I, my brain can't even fathom being in that experience. That's how wild it was. It looks incredible. the The things that they presented to us, and the the presentation of the the UI, and st I'm sure it's and and I think for months you and I said you know source maybe years sources way back said it's almost indistinguishable from real life because of the resolution. Yeah. Like I'm I'm sure I will be blown away. And I'm sure I will buy one, and I'm sure I will keep it. But I also am fairly sure that I will have to remember to use it. To I won't. There won't be an urge to use it. I will have to remember to use it. Remember that I have it, and I'm sure it's going to be really fun for a day or two until the tech demo aspects wear off, and the incredible technological advancements in display technology. Within their and and within their chips inside the product, I'm sure as a technology fan and as a nerd, I'll be blown away. But uh, that's just not if if that's all it took for me, I'd have a PC. I'd I'm have a PC where I could put every fucking crazy card in there, and and that's how I would live my life. If if specs and technological advancements were all I would care about, I'd be on a OnePlus phone, on a Samsung phone. I'd be using PCs, but I'm not, am I? I want to push you on this. Push me, baby. Because <laughs> you're you're already flipping from what you started not, this argument out I'm with. I'm not flipping, Wh Sam. Was. I'm saying the same thing I said in the video. But when we start out this conversation, you said we agree that it's going to be amazing. I just think the presentation was bad, but the product's going to be awesome. Now you've switched to, I don't see myself using this product, even though it's good. And those are two different things. A bad no, presentation no, it's not. does not I'm just, equal I'm not just... using a product. No, that's not, those aren't two different things. It's just something I haven't said out loud yet. I just didn't say that in the video. I'm just adding it here. Like, but I'm it, saying you don't, you, <laughs> I, I'm not going to, I don't see myself using it because I, I believe the vision is off. I think the vision, huh? I, th no, I, that's good. I, th I, I don't understand how this isn't consistent with what I'm saying The yeah, the tech demo is incredible, but the tech demo isn't enough. I'm not going to use it every day for the tech demo. I'm just not. That is completely consistent with what I've been saying. The reason I'm surprised this is coming from you is because I see you in just a couple months when you try this doing the exact same thing we both did 
about virtual reality as a concept. When I you try the hope. Quest. I really do hope. But dude, I, the same things you're saying now are like, it doesn't look impressive. What does it do? This th- looks dumb. And then you tried the quest too. And just a second ago, you said it's a phenomenal experience and you love it. So what I'm saying may I, is instead may I make of, you a promise? Instead of putting your four, let me just finish. My advice to you is instead of putting your flag on the sand of this thing is often weird, you should have just waited. You should have not made that video. You should. Well, I can say the same thing about you it. though in your videos. I could like how how why is it just me? How come I should just wait to try it just because I said something negative? Is is if I would have said something positive, this is fine. No one argues with me. It's only because I have an opinion that is different than yours or different than other people's to where they're like, well, well you well you didn't try it. How the fuck it, do you know then, bro? You didn't try it either. How do you know it, it's great? No, You're, you can you both, are just you can going off a gut feeling it. just the same way I am. You can both sides it. I had, John, I was on your side. At the, at, at, at the event, I said the same things as you. Mm-hmm. And after doing more research and looking at it more and, and listening to what everyone else has said, I decided to say, you know what? I'm going to take their word for it and I'm going to be optimistic about this rather than pessimistic. That's all mm-hmm. this is. I'm saying glass is half full. You're saying glass is half empty. I th- yeah, and I think those are fair about approaches either way. Mind. Oh, of course. Like that's I'm what happens saying, with public announcements. I think you fucking wrong, bitch. I think you fucking <laughs> so wrong. That's You're fine. gonna get your shit rocked when this can, comes out in can 2024. I, can I make you a promise? And you're gonna fucking eat my dick. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Can, I, can I make you a promise? Yeah, that's how I feel. I'll make a promise Wait, to you and to everyone in the audience. Okay. You know, I'm not married to this. I'm not, I don't give two shits. You know, all I care about at the end of the day is speaking what I believe to be true, even if it goes a little bit against the grain. Uh, and I care about being right. And so if if uh, if this comes out... I, I think you phrased that wrong. I think you care about being authentic. I don't think you care about being right. No, I do. I care about being on the right side of history. Like, you know, the uh, just a, an example that I keep bringing up is iPhone XR. Like, just from the leaks, I said this is going to be best-selling iPhone of the year. Everyone disagreed when it came out. It was depressing. It was not going to sell well. And then a year later, it was the number one best-selling thing. So one of those instances where I, I went against the grain, but I was on the right side of history. I do care about that. Like, uh, you know, leaks aside, of course you want to be right. I want to be right with my uh, with my gut feelings. Like I feel like this is my position in this in this space. I don't want to just be a YouTuber reading off you know a spec sheet. I would like to take a step back and help people think differently, and I do that with the hope and the intentions that history will prove that that point for me. And that also means that if I am wrong. I will, I will, I I will be fine with with changing my mind to hopefully be on the right side of history. Uh, so my promise to you and my promise to everybody is, if my opinion ever changes, I won't just be, I won't just, sp- you know, just speak the same things I've been saying just to remain consistent. If I was wrong, I am more than happy to say I was wrong. I want to be wrong because I want this, I want this to be great for me and for everybody. Uh, you, yeah. in fact, I'm. It should t- it should be telling that you know I <laughs> I showed a clip like a, from a week ago you know before, just from yes. the ru- or uh, maybe nine days ago from the rumors saying that this is I a watch- game changer I'll fight you on it like and and I think I was like if anyone if if you don't understand this headset then what's it like to be wrong so you think that it makes me feel good to come on a week later and be like ah fuck I I, I fucked it <laughs> I was wrong. I don't want to say that, but that's just how I genuinely feel. So I'm, I'm showing you that I'm clearly okay with admitting I'm wrong. And so if I'm wrong, and if I feel like I was wrong, I will gladly not take the video down because I don't want to delete anything. I want you to keep all my... I have very embarrassing stuff that's still on, on the internet. Um, but, you know, I will admit that I was wrong. I will gladly admit no, no, that and I was I, wrong. And I have no doubt that you will. I'm not I'm not saying that you're going to sit here a year later and be, like, be stubborn. I, 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 again, uh-huh. I... I, yeah, you might say you want to be right. I think the longevity that you've had as a creator is because you're authentic. I, I mean, Same for I think you. that's what I, yeah, I was gonna say that's, I credit myself as being authentic. Like tomorrow I could change my channel and only say positive things about Apple, mm-hmm. but it's like, that's not always how I feel. People, people will claim that's always how I feel because I would eat shit if Apple made it for me. 
I, I, I believe I'm authentic in, in what I do and how I like, I'm the same way. I, I actually am excited for this still. I actually look forward to this. I'm not just saying this cause I'm an Apple Coke Coke boy and I need this to work for my career. Like, yes, there's a positive benefit. There's other things that Apple has done that I think are stupid. I literally start off this podcast saying the Mac pro is a silly product yeah. right now <laughs> for like, they should have just waited genuinely. Uh, but again, agreed. people aren't going to remember that. They're just going to remember that I'm Apple fanboy. So what, that's fine. That's okay. Yeah. You, you don't, you don't have to, see me as multifaceted, but I am multifaceted and that multifaceted <laughs> there are so many layers to Sam. with this headset because I just, um, and, and, and to be clear, I'm not saying that this might be something that I use every single day. I'm saying, I don't know mm-hmm. yet, but I feel, and logically there is more optimism, I think on the, on the platform than than pessimism and see and, that's and, and sometimes I could be wrong that's too. all we can do some especially yeah, I, like i could be wrong too listen I, and if i'm wrong i'm gonna do the same thing i will i will come on here and be like damn i was wrong this thing is kind of bad uh-huh. i'm gonna do that too i'm not i'm not gonna like continue to cope if it's bad i'll be disappointed as well um yeah i just i mean man i i, I think i think it's a situation where both of us need to try it before we have an actual opinion and i disagree but uh <sighs> Not not saying that I, that we shouldn't try it. Uh, the the day it comes out, we sh- we should try it for them and to uh, you oh, know we're be- doing this podcast in VR. Yeah, like of course, of course. I'm not saying we're not going to try it, but to say that we're not supposed to have an opinion is uh, not accurate. I think because why do we have public events then? It's just like that's what the event is for: is for you to generate an opinion, hopefully a positive one, a positive enough one to buy a product. That's what Apple's job is. And yeah, so I, I it's completely fair for me VR to judge that, different. and I don't, I won't let, I won't let the people on Twitter gaslight me into being like, "Well, you didn't try it because neither did you, fucker." So, like, what do you want? You, it's only. I think. All I'm saying is, I think VR is different, as we literally proved with us shitting on it before we tried it, and then we're like, "VR is kind of cool." Yeah, <laughs> VR is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm no, and you know what? This, if they're, you know what, this might be peak genius bar. This might be. What our relationship is built towards. Did okay. you let's take a step back and realize that there was there was rarely any screaming and yelling. We we had a, a disagreement. We argued a bit, <laughs> but it was professional and kind and yeah, loving. I, I Other than when you said eat my dick. Uh but you know Yeah, yeah, that was me. I'll, <laughs> that's you know, I, that's I that's how you know a marriage has been through some shit. Yeah, we've gone to counseling thanks to you, Cerebral, who sponsored yeah. this episode. <laughs> Here's your ad um, spot. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that I think I said everything. Now I had a lot building up in me, as you could tell. I mean, are you like about Dub Dub? I I usually I'm just like what, people think whatever you want of me, whatever. But like I don't want yeah, seem, people to be angry. That, yeah, you seem hurt that people. I mean, I, I mean, I got fucking there. beat up all day yesterday, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm but that's comments. like that's part of the job. Um, I don't want people to think that I'm just being negative and or uh, you know I don't want people to be mad just because I have a different that's, opinion. That's what it feels like, though. Like watching the video, I wanted to comment, I wanted to text you and yell at you and say everything that I did. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I and you I was do like, your luckily, best, I, I can confront you, and I hope, I hope the internet appreciated yeah. me. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why um, I hope that's why people watch Genius Bar. We're not the same on Genius Bar as we are yes. in those videos, and that's the point of watching this. I think. No, that's why I love this podcast. Is we can all. This is like, the only place on the internet where I'm actually me. Like, yes, I would say the same thing. Like I'm John Prosser on those videos on Front Page Tech, but here I am Jonathan. You know, also, I'm just let, me. Let's end the show with something that we both agree on. <laughs> iOS 6 needs to come back. It does. Just bring everything back. iOS 6, bring iOS the iPhone 6. 4 back. Just give me all of it. iOS 6 was goaded. I'm actually working on a special video about iOS 6. It's oh, yeah? Works-ish. I got a pretty uh, fun concept what? planned. Nothing. It's a oh, surprise. Okay. Also, if everybody's wondering about the iPad mini video, there's a sponsor in the video. <laughs> Sponsor's been done for two weeks. Haven't even watched. Haven't even watched. Also, I have your iPad mini. Yeah, wait. What if they make me do more B-roll? What if they don't like it? I don't have uh, an iPad. Then I'll do B-roll again. Uh, should I wait. just send that to you? Send yeah, you probably should. Are we going to hang out or see each other at all? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm so used to seeing you a couple times a month, and now... I guess I guess we're just gonna have to. I guess I'm gonna have to fly out there. I haven't been there yet. You should come visit for a couple of days. I haven't been to your apartment yet, so. Yeah, come come say hi before I. We'll call move. it a special iPad mini trip. Like I just I'm personally not moving escorted until it. 
I'm not moving until the fall now. I don't know if I've said that because I think I told I, people I was moving in summer. You did. LA, you did but, say that here on the show. Uh, just want to say uh, the event broke me. That's. <laughs> I wish I was joking. I literally. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell this story because it's funny and it oh, shows oh boy. just in case people aren't like, were you really that stressed? Yeah. Uh, five days before the event, my body woke itself up at 8 a.m. And I shit my brains out <laughs> to the point, to the point of almost losing consciousness. <laughs> Sam, no. <laughs> no, I'm I'm serious. Oh my god, what do you mean? My oh, body like, woke were itself pushing, up. Were you pushing was too like, hard? We are unloading anything in the reservoir. Oh my god. And I actually my whole body was tingling and I had to put my head between my knees because I was about to pass out. What did you eat? What the hell? No, no, that was just stress. Jesus Christ, Sam. Yeah. So. Have you been sleeping that's... a lot? You been getting your sleep? Oh, yeah. Today I overslept. I literally missed therapy. Oh, that wasn't I... just for the ad read. I literally woke up and I was like, saw an email from my therapist being like, hey, man, you're supposed to do you this good? thing. <laughs> And if I now, feel like fair, if your therapist doesn't hear from you, he's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he was only like, call me, are you good? <laughs> <And laughs> Do I, I like, send yeah, somebody? I, I just almost passed out shitting myself. Uh, no, uh, yeah, I, I, I woke up today um, uh, at like my I normal feel, time. I felt good. But then I went back to sleep and woke up at like 6 p.m. So <laughs> yeah. that's the kind of life I'm living. Um, yeah, I slept. I, I, got, I've got, I got like 10 hours of sleep the day back home. I, I've been sleeping and treating myself. Um, I'm like, what do I make videos on now? I'm kind of like struggling because it's like, you know, there was a big, a big build up. Videos were like yeah. everywhere. I mean, my videos were doing crazy, like leading up to the event. And now it's like, whoa, what is I, life now? I have like, you know, I wear whoop. Uh-huh. My sleep data is so funny. Like, uh, I was getting like one and a half, two hours of sleep a night leading up okay, to the event. That's insane. And then like my, it says recovery and sleep is like 19% the day before. The day after the event, 100% sleep. <laughs> Just like immediately, I fucking, it was awesome, dude. I remember waking up and usually leading up to the event, anytime I woke up, my heart was like pounding already because I'm, I'm like, first thing I do is check our group chat, make sure like nothing catastrophic happened. Uh, there always did. There was I, always something. I woke up the day after the event at the hotel and was just like, oh my God, I can go back to sleep. And I did yeah. and it was wonderful. Yeah, no, I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't, experienced signs of relief until uh back home because we had to uh yeah do the whole u-haul thing um anyway so worth it it, though. it was an experience it was worth every second i love you guys i think it's time it's i'm time. hungry sam are you satisfied are you satisfied do you feel good about our disagreement yeah i think we had a great discussion i think people enjoy it okay. i hope they do you're not mad at me you, we good no i'm not mad at you you don't think you're wrong you don't think i'm deeply broken? deeply wrong like a little sad sad boy um, but I, I don't think I don't think I hate you. At the end of the day, nothing matters. Nothing is real. Who cares? You're right. Nothing's real in Apple Vision, baby. <laughs> Who cares? I'm so excited. Apple, can you have me in an event? Please have me in an event. Wow, I'd like the very last it. second. He's really he's really trying. I'd really like it. You think I was gonna stop my Apple campaign after Dub Dub? I'm trying to get that iPhone September invite, baby. Dude, come the, on, the guys. AR, like when you scan yourself with the headset, the AR avatar of you is gonna be so fucked up. Oh yeah, no. Like, it's what does Apple think you look like? Like, how do they replicate Apple, your skin tone? I'm gonna look even more like a pedophile, which is gonna <laughs> be pretty impressive. <laughs> also, I love how like. Lately, we play the outro music, but we just keep going. The song yeah. ends, and then we just yeah. keep going. <laughs> like you said, nothing matters. Nothing is real, and nothing matters. Uh, we'll see you, you guys next week. Do you do you agree with my name of this episode, the Apple Vision Pro Debate? I think that will. Yep. I think that's a good title. I like it. Sign and me I think up. We need to get you and me like looking at each other with the Vision Pro in the middle. Let's do it. Like now, actually. Okay. Let's make. Yeah. Okay. That's the episode, guys. Love you. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Love you.